What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another uh, product review from Aegis Brand Studios. Uh, this week, I'm actually really kind of excited to uh, be sharing this particular one. Uh, our good friends and sponsor of the channel, uh, I Wargame, have sent over some exciting new mats for Star Wars Shatterpoint. Uh, one of these mats you'll probably already seen in, uh, I think, at least one battle report. Uh, I'm going to be getting the other ones on camera as soon as possible at this point. Uh, but these are three brand new mat designs uh, for Star Wars Shatterpoint. They are all pre-marked mat designs as well, uh, with the pre-markings for both the Sabotage Showdown and the Shifting Priorities uh, missions. And as we start looking into the actual mats themselves, uh, we'll, we'll show you how they actually were able to do that. Uh, but the, the three different maps we have here, we have the, the underbelly here, which obviously is uh, representing the more built up uh, urban centers. We have It Gets Everywhere, which is a fantastic uh, sand map uh, with some uh, really great details kicking into it. Uh, and then we have So Chic, meant to represent your, your nice wooded forested areas here. Uh, and uh, yeah, these these are all really cool mats. I'm going to be showing each one of the, uh, each one of these off in some individual detail here. Uh, but obviously, I want to say a big thank you to uh, to iWar Games and uh, for sending these out here. But the other really exciting thing that I have to announce is officially with this video, uh, if you want to uh, if you want to get these mats for yourself, you can go to iWar Game, use the code Aegisbrand, and you will save ten percent on your uh, on your purchase. Uh, but not only that, but you do help out the channel by doing so as well. Uh, so if you're in the market for some cool new maps, definitely check them out and use that code, save a little bit to uh, to pick some up, and uh, just uh, tighten up your own personal game space. Anyway, let's take a look at these mats. So let's kick off by taking a look at the underbelly mat itself here. I got some uh, some terrain and some models just to go down. And right off the hop, uh, I mean, this is always going to be a little bit dependent on how you're painting your stuff up. But the, the terrain itself looks right at home on the mat, which is really nice. You can see like a lot of the, the little textures on here. Got a nice little, uh, you know, not rebel symbol uh, kick around there. Just little things like that kind of fit very nicely with what we see for a lot of the, uh, the Star Wars terrain and the aesthetic. Uh, now, granted, this could very easily work for a lot of other sort of like, you know, sci-fi, dystopian, futuristic type uh, type designs and all this sort of stuff. So it's definitely not unique to Star Wars, but it works very nicely with it, <laughs> which I really, really kind of dig here. Uh, also, conven conveniently, it goes really well with the sort of like the stock bases that come with uh, Shatterpoint as well. As far as the matte design itself goes, it's actually a really nice, uh, nice weight to it. Uh, it's not uh, not too heavy, but it actually it doesn't shift too easily either, which is really nice. I have dealt with some maps which uh, mats that just had a lot of weight to them, just made them a little bit difficult to transport and store. These ones, uh, they're a really really nice uh, solid mat. They got a really good feel and design for it, and of course they are still the neoprene design. One of the really nice features that we're going to do on this one is that if uh, you haven't noticed, these are actually pre-marked maps. Uh, they are uh, they're pre-marked down with the, the two existing scenarios that Shatterpoint has to offer. So you can see here we have you know the three by three things for uh, shifting priorities. So those are all on there, but they're very discreet, uh, unlike the Marvel Crisis Protocol ones. They don't stand out as uh, as bluntly as they do with like the the stark lettering and sort of like the the grayed out uh, text of the circle. But on top of that, uh, if you look very closely, you can also see there are a couple red circles here, and those actually are to represent the ones for the um, Sabotage Showdown, with the, the center three obviously being the same right there. So the pre-marked uh, icons on this are actually quite nice. They don't stand out as heavily, which, you know, it makes it a lot easier to not have to use them, or in the event of future mission packs having different layouts, which probably quite likely that's going to happen. Uh, it will sort of retain a lot more of its value as a result. It's not going to feel as outdated um, as we move forward. So let's take a look at some of the other maps here. So here we have the It Gets Everywhere map, uh, obviously uh, talking about the wonderful sand. And, uh, you know, it goes perfectly with the uh, with the sort of like the box design paint jobs of the of the terrain here. Got some nice little extra features like you can see here, like some crashed uh, walker stuff. Which looks really nice. You see a couple little, uh, a couple little rock formations and dunes kicking around. Otherwise, it looks like it has really nice texture, like all the little, all the little pixelated, or not pixelated, but uh, 
the point of the pointilization of uh, I think I got that right of all the little uh, granules of sand on the the table itself just really give it a nice sense of texture and flow and something I want to say here is that unless I'm mistaken it doesn't look like there's actually any uh, repeating of textures or designs here it looks like it's actually just one completely unique design which is really nice and I've seen in a couple other mats especially the natural terrain ones there is almost a habit of repeating some designs or textures, not on all of them, but some of them have that. So it's really nice to see that this one doesn't have that particular issue. Uh, also, just as I'm filming this, I noticed like there's some nice little uh, paw prints uh, moving through the uh, the sand as well. So again, really solid map. You see, we still have the same pre-marked designs here. Now on this one, it's uh, I don't think I actually see the uh, yeah okay. So they they are on here. We do still have the pre-marked. For the sabotage, or yeah, the sabotage showdown, but they are a lot more subtle here. It actually took me a, a good second to find them. In fact, I'm still struggling to find the one over here, um, but it's got to be on there somewhere. I think it's right there. Uh, so yeah, really subtle, which is uh, again like just an excellent feature of these maps. Really dig them quite a bit. Uh, I think it's uh, it's an excellent uh, excellent little point that they paid a lot of attention to. Finally, we have the last map, the So Chic. Uh, out of the three of them, this one is probably my least favorite one. Uh, I'll go into the reasons why. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's again, it's really nice. It's got that really, uh, really good sense of texture to it. There's lots of uh, sort of like uh, forest undergrowth kicking around on here. Uh, again, we have the pre-marks. These ones uh, stand out a little bit more than on uh, the, the uh, It Gets Everywhere map, the sand map. Uh, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of... Uh, the seek them out and find them and make sure that you have tokens on the right place. But still, I, I can't stress enough how nice of a feature it is that these, uh, that these pre markings on here are not in your face. Like they're, they're there, you can find them, but the, if you're not paying too close of attention or once you get a lot of terrain on the table and you would have seen a couple of these videos already come out, uh, you'll notice it's, uh, it's very easy to lose them. And once again, like with a nice neutral uh, paint job on uh, on the buildings here, they fit in very nicely here. Obviously, though, you'll probably want to get something a little bit more akin to the, you know, the tall trees, uh, the Ewok villages, which you can get from a couple of like 3D printers or if you're adventurous yourself. Uh, something else that I've neglected to mention is that it also includes the deployment line. Now, one downside here is that these are very much oriented a single way. Uh, so you, you do have to kind of lay them out so this is facing one of the players. Uh, you have your range two deployment right there. There is no option for the range two deployment here, and obviously the uh, sabotage showdown pre markings do not work uh, when going that orientation as well. So it's a little unfortunate. Uh, now you could you could obviously swap it for uh, if you're doing the uh, the sh uh, shifting priorities, but honestly, the shifting priorities it doesn't really matter what orientation you're on because it's a pretty set uh, grid of three by three. But yeah, all, all three of the maps are really cool, really nice designs. I like all three of them. I'm very excited to see what uh, future designs might bring uh, for, uh, for Shatterpoint and uh, for my war games on this one. And I think it's really cool that uh, they've obviously been listening to feedback from the community because they I feel like they've addressed some of the, the biggest uh, talking points that people had when talking against the iWar games mats here. Uh, the overall quality feels really good. The map designs look really solid. I love the pre-markings on this. I hope we actually see something very similar for future uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol games where the, uh, the pre-markings are a little bit more subtle on it. Uh, I would not mind at all because I think overall it just helps that immersion and helps get you into the, uh, into the feeling of the game a little bit more. It, it helps keep you in there. So there we go. These are the three Star Wars Shadowpoint maps for, uh, from iWar Games here. Definitely go check them out. I'm going to leave a link in the description below because they have been uh, very nice friends of the uh, of the channel here. Uh, they've uh, they've supplied us with uh, with all their mats, and uh, you know I'm I'm very happy to always get them on the table and help spread the word and just share some love for it. So uh, definitely go check them out if you can get your hands on them. I'm definitely recommend it on that one. Uh, I think they're uh, for what they for what they offer. I think they're a fairly solid price there, and I think they're definitely well worth it. So there we go. Uh, and for everyone else watching, thank you so much for uh, checking out this video. Leave your comments below. Well, let me know what you like, don't like about all these uh, all these mats here. And of course, if you want to support the channel yourself, definitely check out patreon.com slash agesbrandstudios. A couple bucks a month. It goes a long way to keeping these videos coming and uh, allowing us to stay current with uh, everything that comes out and keep, uh, keep exciting content coming for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy Wargaming.